Hi, Yogi's at Shannon. And that was Chappie. <laughs> was that exciting? Yes. Today we've got a 20 to 25 minute good morning yoga class to help wake up those hips and low back. If you've been practicing with us for a while, welcome back. And if you're brand new, welcome. Do me a solid, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. To get started today, we'll begin in constructive rest. So just come down to your back. And you can bring your right hand to your tummy, your left hand to your heart. And close your eyes. You can use this moment to begin to tune into your breath, tune into your heartbeat. Just really anchor down into the present. And if you would like to set an intention for your practice today, something positive you can bring your mind back to in case it begins to wander. Maybe something positive you can bring forward into the rest of your day. Now's a great time. On your next inhale, you can go ahead and float the eyes open. Take your hands, bring your knees up to your chest and just hold your knees and let's do some circles. Just go around in a circle and it doesn't matter what direction you begin in. Just massaging the low back. And however you started, let's change directions. And we'll begin with shoelace pose. You're just going to cross the right leg over the left at the knee and bring your hands to your feet or to your ankles and just pull down just as much as you can. Let's begin with a very gentle opening of the hips. And just keep breathing. can release the feet and let's change legs. So you're going to cross the left leg over, bring hands down to the ankles or feet, pull in towards your chest just as much as you can. One more inhale and exhale, release the feet. Let's bring the left foot down to the mat, flex your right foot, Cross it over the left knee. Reach down, do a little bit of a kickstand here. And just pull, pull your thigh in towards your chest as much as you can. You wanna keep the right foot flexed just so you can protect the knee. And just breathe. One more inhale. And exhale, take left foot back down to the mat, switch sides, place the right foot down, left foot up, flex it, cross it over the knee, reach down to your thigh and pull the thigh in towards the chest as much as you can. One more good breath and release the foot back down to the mat and across your legs. Pick up your feet and let's rock up to sit. Do a TP twist, wrap around with the right arm, reach behind with the left, inhale up through the crown of the head. Exhale, gaze over left shoulder behind you. Take some nice, long, even breaths here. And come out of your twist, wrap around with the left arm, reach behind with the right, inhale up through crown of the head, and exhale, twisting at the upper body, gaze over towards the right shoulder.
Take one more inhale and exhale. Come out of your twist. We're gonna cross here at the ankles and come over to your hands and knees in tabletop position. Do cat and cow stretch. Make sure that your make sure your wrists are under the shoulders and your knees are under the hips. On an inhale, draw the stomach down towards the mat and gaze up. Exhale, cat stretch. Nice arch. Inhale and exhale. Just keep flowing here. Go at your own pace to the rhythm of your own breath. Wherever you are, take one more round. And we'll meet back in the center in a neutral spine. Let's tuck the toes behind us. We'll shift back into downward facing dog. So you're shooting back towards the back of the mat with the hips, trying to bring the heels down as much as you can, drawing shoulder blades down the back and pedal the feet. Come up on your tiptoes and bring the heels down as much as you can. Keep a bend in the knee if you need to. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward, walk towards the front of your mat, and let's roll all the way up to stand in Tadasana. Again, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. We'll take a little bit of a flow up and down to kind of warm up the legs. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front of you with a flat back. Forward fold, step back into plank and just come back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Look forward in between your hands, step forward with the right leg. And then step forward with the left leg, forward fold. Rise all the way back up, arms overhead, hands to heart center in prayer. And let's do that with the left side. Raise up overhead with the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front. Forward fold, step back with the left leg this time. And then come back into plank. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And exhale. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward with the left leg. Come to meet with the right. Roll all the way back up into Tadasana. Arms overhead, hands to heart center in prayer. Let's repeat that flow on both sides. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front. Forward fold, right foot back, step back, come into plank. Shift back, downward facing dog. Big inhale, big exhale. Look forward in between your hands, step forward, right foot. Step up with the left foot, forward fold. Rise all the way up, arms overhead, hands to heart center in prayer. Arms overhead, swan dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front. Forward fold, step back with the left foot this time. Bring the right foot back to meet you in plank. Shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale for a big breath, exhale. Look forward in between your hands, step forward, left foot. Bring the right foot to meet it. Forward fold, rise all the way up into Tall mountain, hands to heart center in prayer. Now we'll take a vinyasa down to downward facing dog. Inhale, arms overhead, gathering energy for the day. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, gaze in front of you. Forward fold, step back into plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward with the right foot. Come all the way up into crescent lunge. Inhale, 
drawing shoulder blades down the back, keeping the hips square. And then cartwheel the left foot parallel with the back of the mat. Open up, warrior two. Gaze over the right fingertips. Pause here for a few breaths. straighten the right leg or come into triangle pose you want to pull back on the right hip while shifting forward with the left hip turn the arms sideways and then just hinge forward you can catch the side of your leg here or the ankle or the toe whatever you choose just breathe gazes up towards the extended fingertips of the left hand On an inhale, rise back up and cartwheel back for extended triangle. Just take the left hand down the back of the leg, reach up with the right arm. Inhale, come back into center and extend back into warrior two. Now let's cartwheel hands down to the foot. Step back into plank and take your vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, hips to the back of the mat. Downward facing dog. Pause for a breath here. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward with the left foot this time. Come into your crescent lunge. Reach overhead with the arms, shoulders down the back. Nice long breaths. Cartwheel, right foot parallel with the back of the mat. Open up into warrior two. Gaze out over the fingertips. Let's straighten the left leg. Press forward with the right hip. Pull back with the left hip arms to the sides just hinge forward into triangle again side of the leg ankle or the foot gazes up towards the hand extended to the sky and if you need to bring in your leg a little bit so that you can more comfortably come into this position and you are more stable do that just breathe here make sure that you're not hyper extending that front leg One more inhale and exhale, cartwheel up, reach back for extended triangle, reach long with the left hand up to the sky. Come back into warrior two. Cartwheel hands down to frame the foot. Step back into plank. Take one more vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a good breath here. Inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and drop the knees down to the mat. Shift your butt towards the back of the mat and bring your forehead down. You can come into child's pose. Bring the hands down to the sides of the legs. Maybe bring the mind back to the intention you set for practice today. On an inhale, go ahead, use your hands, press yourself back up into table. We're going to cross ankles behind you. Hey, buddy. Cross the ankles behind you, shift your butt back, calm down to the mat, back into a seat. Let's do a TP twist again, wrap around with the right arm, reach behind with the left, inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale, gaze over the back shoulder.
Come back to center, wrap around with the left arm, reach behind with the right, inhale. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder. Come out of your twist, come back to center. Roll down carefully to the mat. And let's kick stand the legs again. Take your right foot, cross it over the left with a flexed foot. Reach down, grab your thigh, and pull it up towards your chest just as much as you can. One more inhale and exhale. Place the foot back down. Put your right foot down, pick your left foot up. Keep it flexed and cross it over the knee. Reach up and bring it towards your chest. Release the thigh and uncross your feet. Pick them both up. Come into happy baby and bring hands to the sides of the legs, ankles, or feet. Just roll back and forth. A little bit of a low back massage. Release the feet, bring the knees in. Let's do one more shoelace pose. Cross over with the right leg. Grab both ankles or your feet. Pull them down towards the mat. Release the feet, cross over with the left leg this time. Grab feet or ankles, pull them down towards the mat. Release that, reach up, hug your knees, give yourself a big hug because you did awesome today. And release into Shavasana, let it all go. Let the arms flop out to the sides. Let your feet flop out to the sides. Let your eyes gently close. Let your jaw go slack. Relax all the way from the top of the head, down throughout the body, all the way down to the feet. Feel how you are completely supported here by gravity and the earth. And you are safe. If you'd like to stay in Savasana a little longer, you can just pause this video and stay as long as you'd like. Otherwise, let's begin to wake up the body, making some small movements with fingers and toes, maybe some rotations, ankles and wrists. Just reach out long for a full body stretch and come over to one side in the fetal position. When you're ready, you can use your hand to press yourself back up into your comfortable seat at the center of your mat. Bring your hands down to your knees. Let's do one more quick scan of the body. Notice how it feels now as opposed to how it felt at the beginning of practice today. Thank yourself for taking some time out of your busy day to do some yoga and something that's good for you. You can bring your hands to heart center in prayer and open your eyes. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me and Chaffee today. I hope that this helps your low back and hips and helps your energy level for the rest of your day. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have an idea for a video, just drop me a comment. I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing how your practice is going. Thank you so much. May you be happy, may you be safe, and may you be peaceful. We'll see you next time.